hello guys and today we're back again once more today we have the car everybody says it's not a bmw just because it's a front wheel drive that's the first bmw ever to be to be a front wheel drive powertrain guess the car okay let's go so today we have uh, the BMW 2 series uh, this particular one is a uh, uh, 220d 220d and this one produ produces a uh, 184 horsepower That's it. and it's a front wheel drive car as I first said so let's go around it guys let's go around it okay guys so as we always do we will uh, start from the boots space and we come back to the uh, the exterior and then the interior so let's go to the boot space so that's it uh, it's a 220d let's check there's the boot space and uh, this particular one uh, the amount of uh, 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 liters is I think it's uh, 430 liters so let's check if it comes with uh, an inflator kit or uh, or a spare wheel let's look in here now as you see there is space over here for other items that you want to store yeah the net here okay so let's check here yeah that's the inflator kit and the other uh uh fuel nuts locker and all those stuffs towing nuts so let's put it back It. and this particular one doesn't come with uh, an automatic boot release or automatic close comes with uh, a twin exhaust as you can see one and left and these are not these are not uh, this works it's not just there the tailpipe works so let's go to the other side and it comes with a side uh, our vents as well 220d and as i said this particular one comes with uh it comes with a front wheel drive uh, uh, uh system as we know all bmw all the old ones and the new ones came with uh they are all coming with a uh, rear wheel drive but this particular one comes with uh, a front wheel drive system which makes it uh, different altogether there's the first car and to me i see the uh, the one series in this one as you can see and this particular one is m sports to the front that's how the front comes comes with the new grill as well with all the side kits all around beautiful wheels alloy wheels as well all around as you can see rail diffuser it's very beautiful as well let's go to the interior as i said this one is an m sports version so it comes with all the luxury door cards premium quality material 
the M Sport badge. Plus beautiful interior all around, as you can see. Very, very quality and perfect interior. The back as well. Very beautiful and quality. It's a front wheel drive back. It comes with the flap. It has been hipped like a rear wheel drive, which is okay. It looks good. It looks better. So, back door cart is also okay. The middle one is uh, the hand. Uh, 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 the opener is uh, covered with uh, leather. So let's check the interior. So this is it. Multifunctional steering wheel. Beautiful. Covered with uh, leather. As you can see. Yeah. Let me. Beautiful. Beautiful car by our standard. See in there. The dash center console with the infotainment system uh, controller and the screen touch all works perfectly look at the dials everything on point ac everything off yes and beautiful seats as you can see as i said very very nicely stitched looks a bit sporty armrest with a bit of space in there let's fire it up and see oh uh, i just forgot uh and it comes with a wireless charger phone charger as you can see you just put a phone there and you charge it Apple CarPlay, everything is fully loaded. Plus, uh, the drive selects uh, you can put it on comfort mode, sports mode, uh, Echo Pro, yeah, yeah, and it's it comes with an eight speed automatic gearbox stop and starts. And as I said, this one comes with a 2.0 twin turbo charge engine twin turbo engine producing 184 horsepower paddle shift as well and it drives very very nice it's very stable on the road and uh, yeah all around is a very it's a it's a very nice car to drive. You know, I feel comfortable when I, I've I've driven I've been dri driving this for 150 miles, but it drives all oh, very very pretty well. It drives very well. Yeah, I'm an Audi fan, but uh, for the first time I've driven a front wheel BMW. It drives very well. So let's let's start it up. Push that as always for a BMW. Mm -hmm. And this particular one is a 2020 2021 model and it has just made uh, 33,000 miles on the clock. Let's go to the engine. And check the engine out. Oh. One, two. So twin power turbo, 2.0 engine. Yeah, diesel.
okay guys uh yeah after all this uh we've done we are done with it let's take it for a drive for you to see how it drives but for me i've driven it for over 150 miles and as i said it drives very well it's very stable So guys, as I said, uh, we need to take it for a, a drive. And uh, as I said, this particular one is a BMW 220D M Sports. It has all the luxury touches and the M Sports pack. Plus, it comes with a two liter diesel engine producing 184 horsepower which is an, uh, uh, very impressive for a diesel car and any diesel car for any diesel car is for long distance cruising so i maybe i know it is because it's a diesel that's why it drives very nice on the road and also stable handles very well so guys let's go eight speed comes with an eight-speed automatic gearbox which i did say say so let's go turn left then turn right all right now let me put it on sports mode individual But for sound, you know it's a diesel, so the sound one might not be fun. But all that I know is it drives well. But for me, you know, I prefer I would prefer the M two uh, three uh, five uh, uh, I, which is the sports version of this. That one comes with uh, a four-wheel drive system and producing much, much more power. I think nearly twice the power of this. No. In 300 meters. I think it will produce about, about take the second 300, exit on 305. But this is what we have at the moment. So let's let's go for this test drive. Pretty cool car. I love it. It drives well. Goes through corners very well. At the roundabout, take the second exit on A605. At the roundabout, take the third exit on A1139 towards Peterborough. At the roundabout, take the third exit on A1139 towards Peterborough. I want Peterborough. to get off uh, the, uh, the traffic and get a straight road, which is uh, uh, which has a maximum speed of about uh, 60 miles per hour, so that we compare. As I, as I said, I hated this car whilst it, uh, when it first was introduced. I think oh, that was 2020. Yeah. Because it was a, a front wheel drive, and I have never known BMW doing front wheel drive cars. They did this particular one to challenge, uh, I think, uh, the Audi A3. And. Uh, uh, all the uh, salon cars, uh, the premium salon cars. Entering speed enforcement zone. But we, we are not, uh, BMW is not noted for In 3 uh, uh, like kilometers. building front Exit wheel to cars. Junction 3 to a 1260. So people were a bit 
skeptical on buying it and so guys we are now on a straight road right very beautiful so i never liked it when it first came Exiting when it average speed the bmw speed introduced it uh, around 2020 I used to hate it because it's a front-wheel drive car, which I knew BMW are not. In 1.5 kilometers, oh, uh, use the left lane don't to exit produce, left uh, junction uh, uh, front to wheel drive cars. So I was very skeptical, but for me today driving it, I'm I'm very impressed. It drives very well, as you can see. Very stable on a straight line. Trust me is very good so guys if you are on the market looking for looking for a new saloon car or any car that you have the fans please do consider this BMW 2 series 220 either 220i or 220 d but if you are going for if you go long distances you, you are better off buying the diesel one but if you are within locally and you don't drive long distances uh the petrol one will be okay yeah. will be cool so guys as i always say i would have to end it here but to me i'm very very impressed with this i will give this car eight out of a ten it drives beautifully i never expected this so guys i would have to leave you here and all that i will say is don't forget to subscribe and also share as well guys stay safe and see you on the next one. Peace. Bye-bye.